morning, afternoon, coffee time, prefix time, whatever the hell you want to listen to this shit. Um, it is finally episode four of The Right Tracks. I am joined with just Atlas. Everyone else's um, schedules were tied up, so it's just uh, us uh, outcasts and lonely people on here talking to a microphone. So... But we're going to get right into the deep and dirty of uh, the music world and see what random stories that um, interest me. we got a got a few topics here. This is not going to be uh, as long as the previous episode, so um, don't get your hopes up. But you also have, you know, the, the hour-long thing we usually do every week. Plus, if you like sports or if you're a nerd like me and don't like sports, you'll listen to this one instead, so... Let's rival with Anthony on this one, or Tony Gambino, as I like to bust his balls about. Um, so, Atlas, how you been? It's been like two weeks since we like talked. Um. Well, actually, everything is canceled up where I'm at for the summer. Nothing to do. Wow. Well, I'm not sure about down here in, in the Carolinas. They seem to They're be... They're canceling shit, too. They're canceling stuff up. I swear to God, if they cancel my fucking Megadeth concert with Lamb of God and Trivium, I will be very upset. And that's they next. Might, probably, that's next month. Will. I'm gonna look it up. While we're doing it. Uh, yeah. Well, if they don't, if they don't, you know, send a thing a month before, that's their fault, not yours. Yeah, I know. So far, it's not canceled. Yeah. So, okay. So far, so far. I mean, they probably have you know social distancing shit going on, but uh, that should be a nice, nice, nice band, nice fucking event. You know, fucking Megadeth, Lamb of God, oh, yeah. and Trivium. Yeah, definitely. And I just, uh, I know, fucking, it's gonna have to go through Trivium, Lamb of God, then Megadeth, but it's still gonna be great just to get the Megadeth. I like Megadeth. They're legends of the metal world. Plus, they might they might be doing some new stuff since they just recorded an album. They might throw you know one or two songs from a new album in there. I know Metallica did that. They they threw um uh, a few. I think they did Hardwired Live because I know they yeah. did a few videos, a few music videos before they even released the um the album. So I think they did a few of those songs live. I know they did, uh, was it, uh, oh, what was that song with the horseman? Fuck. Um, uh, the four horsemen? No, 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 not the four, the new one, just the new one, it's, um, uh, I Lords of Summer, Lords of Summer, that's what it was. Uh, I think it's... I don't listen, I don't listen to the new album, this guy. I'm you... still stuck on the 80s and 90s. Listen, you can skip past... You can go all the way up to the Black Album. You can skip over, uh, re- load and reload, Saint Anger, but you gotta listen to Death Magnetic and their new album. If you don't listen to those three, if you don't listen to those three that I just said, then it's fine. But the Death Magnetic is great, and um, Hardwired Self Destruct is pretty good, and Lords of I'll Summer. Check. I I I listened to the demo version they did before, and that was it, they've improved on it. But there's uh, you got to listen to uh, the Ronnie Rising melody. I think it's a tribute to yeah, it's a tribute to Ronnie James Dio since he passed. Oh, okay. So it's got a mix of different of like I think three or four different uh, verses from his songs or choruses or whatever. And it just mashes them up with a, I think another band that that does something. I don't know. All I know is that Headfield singing, and it's one. I think it's the best one. It's like eight minutes long. I think. Let me see. Jesus Christ! It's great. It's nonstop riffage, man. It's great. That should be a great workout song when I'm doing a heavy squat. At my yeah. Gym. It's well, money rising. My I don't know how I'm fucking. Oh, it's got the uh, three songs: "Kill the King," "Tarot Woman," 
and another version of Kill the Kings. Oh no, I think that's just two of the songs that are matched together. Terrid Woman, Kill the King. But it's great. <clears throat> oh. Uh, like I said, I'll probably play those when I'm doing a heavy squat in my... Heavy squat, basement. taking taking a shit in a bucket because you lifted too Not many weights. Squatting. You lifted too many Not weights. Squat. You're, you're squatting with like fucking 200 pounds on each side and you just got to have a bucket underneath you so when you, know, you drop a load, you Four. drop a load. 400. <laughs> I, I said 200 on each side, so you're doing 400 on each side now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> if you're not sore, then it's a it's a sh- it's a no go. I understand. I understand being sore. I I've felt the pains of you know working out. Not not like weightlifting or anything. Just being active in general. Running. I used to walk miles and miles a day. I think one the most I've walked in one day was like twenty something miles. Within wow. a span of ten hours. So it was just. I think, I, the mo- I think the most I ever ran was about fifteen, twenty. No, this this is just walking. I'm not running, but this is walking <laughs> in the woods, up and down hills, near traffic, highways, shit like that. Because I was a utility locator, so I would go in places where people didn't believe utilities ran. So and people apparently have to dig in fucking trees and build new neighborhoods for some fucking reason. So that that was my, and you know there'd be multiple uh, multiple lines in the ground, so you'd have to walk back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in the same area over and over again, and then you have to take pictures of everything. So it's just you you, <laughs> you can walk oh. a quarter mile a quarter mile eight times in an hour, and, and you'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Sweat in the North Carolina. Dude, I was Die. I was dying in a hundred degree weather. It was like a, it was like ninety six, but the real feel was like a hundred and ten. It was brutal. There was no clouds, no fucking clouds at all. I was, dude, I thought I was gonna pass out. I, I, <laughs> this summer, actually, this summer up here where I'm at, it's supposed to get into the nineties and hundred. Yeah, I heard the summer's gonna be real brutal. With no pulls open, our, our gunners just killed us. First of all, you don't want to get our in. Gunners. You don't want to get into any pools, public public pools anyway. Now, if you have to land, gotta, you, can, you can get your own pool. I got, I got to build up my immune system, so it's a great way to get in public pools. Well, then you can just say fuck it, hop over the fence, jump into the empty pool, and land on your face. Wow, James, <laughs> very cruel. It'll have the cover on it, so you'll think it's full. You'll think it's full, uh, but, um... I'll think it. With oh. a dead raccoon next to the pool. <laughs> anyway, we're going to steer back to the music right now. Um, so let's, let's get this. Uh, a guitarist dressed as Kiss. Paul Stanley catches fire, but keeps playing. So a guitarist was a, a tribute band. Hairball from Minnesota is making headlines this week. This is from... February, but it still caught my eye. I know it's old, but it's not as recent as... Well, nothing's been going on with music since the fucking virus anyway, so I'm just going to go back to recent shit. Um, Hairball guitarist and vocalist Bobby Jensen dressed as Kiss guitarist Paul Stanley caught fire mid midway through a show to over 1,600 people in uh, Sioux City, Iowa. So he he basically he got a Michael Jackson Pepsi. I fire think fire. so, and he just kept playing. So he was playing <laughs> with his hair on fire and having everyone else try and put it out. <laughs> yep, that's a, that's a Michael Jackson. <laughs> wow, just we have a pulse. We have a pulse Stanley impersonator trying to be with Michael Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to play that. There's a short video, but I'm not going to do it because of copyright shit. But I'll send you the link later and have you look at the video. It's it's pretty... <laughs> I don't know how he keeps a straight face and just keeps singing with the fucking... His hair just in flames. But, oh, uh, dedicated to that role. Dedicated. Yeah. I get the pants to go. 
Yeah. Uh, anyway, you you know the moving on from that short little topic, but that's still fire. I mean, the last thing I heard about fire was from fuck I don't know Hetfield in the '90s or '80s when uh, the pyrotechnic burned his arm and shit. And he returned yeah. to play the stage and uh, continued to show and all that. That was the last fire incident I can recall right now, anyway. There's probably plenty more that have been noticed since. But um, um, I think a band that rivals Limp Biscuit with the attitude, uh, Trapped. You know them, right? Yeah, I've heard of them. Probably their just... head, uh, I think Headstrong was one, one of their most popular songs. Yeah, get you, get you hyped for a Rocky Balboa style. Yeah, they, they, I don't. I'm not a big fan of them. Their their music is a little uh, weak. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't like their tone and shit. But uh, they're getting a lot of flack because the, um, they've been going on like a racist. Um, what is it? Uh, Trap has spent the last 48 hours melting down on Twitter over coronavirus. This is in March. March 2020. Oh, this is po- yeah. This is posted in March anyway. So, uh, Trap frontman Chris Taylor Brown must be going crazy inside quarantine because over the last two days, he seemingly is having a Twitter meltdown about COVID-19. Brown is notorious for his Trump-loving right-wing views. Oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> Which are... <laughs> That was great. Well, the president... I uh, try to avoid the fucking politics and shit. Uh, tra- uh, while the president has only begun to acknowledge the pandemic in the last week... Uh, by the way, this is still in March, so if you're listening, this is not right now when this is published. Trapped. I was gonna say. Think, <laughs> think Trump is actually doing fine. The job is spending a lot of time on Twitter, making sure people know that. Uh... Keep moving on with this shit, uh... That shit store. I, um... No, is it, uh, here's one of their tweets. Oh, it's the authority on the victim mentally made a career of that? What the uh, fuck? Someone's replying, shut up, you lying, degenerate, inept, racist buffoon. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that was a reply to, to their tweet, so I don't... Fucking retarded with this shit. Ah, this is all uh, fucking politics related. Ah, uh, ah, it's just a we got sucked in social. We got sucked into the shit store. I didn't mean for this. I should have read more in this, but whatever. Even Chris Evans, <laughs> Chris Evans got into this shit. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, everyone's getting affected. Oh, uh, directly by he, oh, he's oh, he's yelling at people Mental. on this shit. <laughs> yelling at people. Trapped is yelling at people. Oh. So the one I've read before was uh, someone was saying to the president, "Shut up, you lying degenerate and that racist buffoon." And he, I guess, trapped is just defending or whatever. But yeah. social media on this whole fucking thing has just everyone's just sitting at home, pissed off. So they're just gonna start fires wherever they want because it's social media it's there there's nothing really anyone can do about it i mean the the no. the no, uh, plat- we- the platforms can it's i don't know if if platforms i can understand how really detailed if you go really personal and, and i guess it would be um kind well, of like, with all the social media with now that COVID-19 taking over, everyone's on social media. Every asshole with an opinion has a mm-hmm. platform. Yeah. So, literally, to me, I'm like, I don't give a shit. Right? <laughs> you know? I just go on the internet for memes and YouTube videos without... I try, uh, I've been trying to avoid this topic. Ah, uh, why do... Alright. Alright. <laughs> No, you said you're trying to avoid and I try to scram in their pornography. <laughs> I'm just trying to avoid the current topic at hand because I do, I see enough of that anyway, so I'm not going to talk about it as much. Um, that's yeah. 
this fucking podcast was born because of this. Because everyone was getting bored and like, alright, let's let's do some shit. Let's, let's find some fucked up things to talk about here. But because of this, because it trapped blasting their, you know, their anger or or at least the the lead the, the lead person, Chris Taylor Brown, the front man is just going off on people for some stupid reason. I mean, if you have a certain level of following and power with your words and shit <laughs> you especially just... being a like especially being a public figure like that, you might want to, you know, try to watch what you say because everybody can twist it. Alright, and... so all right, I gotta do I gotta read this one. Uh, there's someone replying uh replying to trapped about, you know, how they're snapping on everyone. I said, Calm down, nickelback. Oh, I meant trapped. <laughs> Trap turnaround. This is why now I really don't like him. Nickelback is amazingly successful. It's not an insult. You have to be the biggest loser idiot on Twitter. First of all, you can't write for shit. <laughs> but I never want to be called Nickelback. I mean, Nickelback, it is true that they're still relevant because people keep talking about it. <laughs> people keep Didn't, didn't ta- Nickelback come out with like two good songs and that's it? Two good songs? That's all they have? Look at this photograph. <laughs> <laughs> No, I never heard one good song from them. <coughs> Maybe this is how you remind me, but that's it. I think it ended there. At least, is yeah, that even theirs? That's... Back I when they, think so. I think, it, I think it's a cover. I sincerely think it's a cover. Regardless if it's a cover, their their version of it, or their that song was, I think, one of their best songs anyway. But that's back when they were. That's back in the old, when they around first started, right? Like nineties or so, maybe. 2004, I think they came out with that song. I guess. I don't, but the 2000 music, I have no, I really fucking blanked out there. Uh, (laughs) I stay in 90s and 80s and whatever the bands I do follow are doing now. But, uh, Trap is, everyone's just going off with this fucking virus shit. But because of this, um, there's a petition. I don't know if any of these stupid p- fucking petitions even get they anything. Don't do I don't know. They don't you do you never know because let's say all right. There's a petition to keep trapped their music off the remastered Tony Hawk Pro Skater game, and nearly fifteen thousand people have uh, signed on it. Now this is I don't get it. There's no date on this fucking article, so I don't know if this is really when this is published or not so i can't verify the relevance of it but because of trap snapping at people on social media where everyone is looking right now people are like um yeah i don't like you and your music and what's your fucking stand for i'm not gonna listen to your music if you're just gonna treat people like this i mean everyone has their fucking moments and you're always gonna have true fans that follow you no matter what the fuck you do because they love your music and shit but Let's just say if you're you're remaking a game, let's say Tony Hawk, there's a there's a large percentage of people that play Tony Hawk. At least when they when they, the originals came out. That even I played it. And I don't fucking do anything with skateboarding. I did Underground, Tony Hawk Underground. I was one of the best games I played. Just because I you did can... number one, and number two. I had number one. Yeah, I mean which they're they're, they're which pretty, is not happened. They're pretty good. Still happened. They're pretty good. They were good. Now let's say. I don't know. It's, this is probably a small number, but that's fifteen thousand people that like Tony Hawk and will not buy the remake because of their music that's on there. So it's really up to either Trap to apologize or just shut the fuck up from now on, and people will f- move on and forget about it. Like shit tends to happen if you don't talk about it, or Tony Hawk will just have to remove their songs from fucking the game itself to please all these people and have them buy the game because that's that's that is hard to do i mean i'm not sure if it works for because there was i know there's stupid petitions for people to get signed off of movies and shit uh, i yeah. don't know if, if that worked or not or whatever because the actors already got paid they were already in the movie so i, I don't get it 
why are you going to petition to take them out of the movie when they already contracted to sign it? But whatever. that That's the side that no one ever sees. So I don't know if these petitions will lead to any results. But it's still like... That's, that's 15,000 people that probably won't buy the game just because of fucking trap. So let's say the game sells for fucking... Ah... Uh, Forty dollars. I mean, it's just Tony Hawk. Should I just average six? It's paying forty dollars for Tony Hawk. I'm just saying because norm normally a brand new game is like sixty dollars. I'll pay twenty. All right, let's do twenty. Twenty times. All right, it's fifteen thousand. That's a lot of money. Yeah. That's three hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, it's uh. That's well, Tony all. Hawk now, he's not a skateboard guy. Wait, he's too old to skate. But he's still spon he, he sponsors like I, I'm pretty sure he sponsors brands. Well, that's why that's why I mean, he's a businessman. Yeah, he's a businessman, so he he may take them off if it's a business. Yeah. So, but who he may knows? do that. That's still that's a lot of fucking money though. Three hundred thousand just because people just don't want like the music. I mean, who knows? Maybe they'll get it and just turn the settings off, maybe. Who knows? There's a settings button where you can just mute the music, you dumbasses. Yeah, like I said, <laughs> like I said, every asshole now who has an opinion is on social media. There's a platform for everything. It's ridiculous. Not necessarily. Not everyone. I mean, there's a lot of assholes on the fucking internet regardless. I mean, they're on there all the time disliking shit. Yelling at people for no fucking reason just because they're angry. I mean, I want to yell at people too, but it doesn't mean I'm fucking doing it. I, I usually just... yell at myself in the mirror to tell myself what it needs to shit up. I don't think I've ever talked myself in the in the mirror at all. Ever. <laughs> I can barely look at my I can barely look at myself in the mirror. So. <laughs> oh I don't know. It's just that it's that horror movie fear, you know. Like you look at the mirror and something's staring behind you or some shit like that. I just get paranoid. But that's been forever. That's the years and years of fucking horror movie watching and binging and shit. <laughs> Every creak and noise, you freak out. Like, what the fuck is that? What is that? <laughs> Next thing you know, zombies are tearing you apart. It's three o'clock in the morning. You don't know what fucking you know. You don't know what time it is. It's dark. Everyone's asleep. It's very quiet. You just hear shit moving around. Yeah. Bad. <laughs> oh, God. And next, next thing you know, you're getting your head turned off by a zombie. Yeah. Thinking. Or whatever it. else might be lurking in the darkness, you know. Without light, we uh. would live in darkness. So everyone should fear darkness to an extent. And those who live in darkness. But... Moving on to the uh, pretty much the highlight of this episode would be Steel Panther. These guys, I mean, their their songs, their riffs, and their music is is good to an extent. If you I like, liked, if you like, you know, the, like the Motley Crue kind of vibe and shit, and uh, you know, like Rat and the hair metal, hair glam <clears throat> metal, because they still dress the same way. But Motley Lou. Motley Lou. <laughs> you know, that's from Hot Tub Time Machine, remember? Uh, Molly Lou? I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember even watching that. Uh, it's, it's great. I think I watched, like, parts of that. But anyway, these... Uh, they, they got some good songs, and I think they just came out with a new album last year. Um, that album? Where's the fucking album? Son of a bitch. Weren't they based on, like, Mark Wahlberg's Steel Dragon? Wasn't that, like, an inspiration from Steel Panther for that movie? I'm not sure. Steel Panther is an American rock band from Los Angeles, California, mostly known for their profane and humorous lyrics, as well as their extravagant. Profane. It's yeah, great. Profane, yeah. That's this fucking underscore of our fucking podcast you know profane or is it the top letter i should put that on the fucking logo now profane podcast like little like you know like in red letters with a little dash going between it you know? <laughs> podcast oh, and philosophy God. yeah it's just the philosophy the God. profane podcast no okay well that's stupid they're known for their <laughs> profane and humorous lyrics as well as their ex 
whatever they're uh, ex eccentric whatever there's uh, some e word i can't pronounce because english is stupid eccentric it's eccentric e x a g g e r a t e d exaggerate yeah exaggerated <laughs> Oh my god, that's real sad. Shut up, my. We were gonna think you're. My what brain. A simpleton. My brain. That's what people were gonna think we are. I am a simpleton. I live a simple life. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Ex uh, <laughs> exact. I never I ever seen that word uh, written. I swear to God. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Fuck you. <laughs> Known for their profane, there we go again, humorous words <laughs> as well as their <laughs> exaggerated on stage persona. That I can say that fucking word. God damn. <laughs> Jesus, God. Uh, I'm not sure if they reenact the stereotypical glam metal lifestyle as far as living that lifestyle. I don't know if they're reenacting it. I think that's. Their fucking lifestyle. Uh, <coughs> I, I know they were made in 1997. That's when they formed. And, uh, I guess they, it's stereotypical from, with all the makeup and stuff. Mm -hmm. The tight leather pants and big kiss boots. <laughs> God, it was... But, uh, but that was sad, James. That was sad. I butchered that like fucking half a paragraph. I can't help it. But everyone's everyone's just gonna watch this and think, "Wow, what a bunch of simpleton." Yeah, yeah, they're gonna listen to it and go, "Wow, these this, my IQ just dropped." <laughs> it, it's it's pissing and it's sickening. Do you know any uh, Steel Panther songs? <sighs> I can't name them on top of my head, but if I listened to them, I would. There was, I think I listened to their second album. I don't know when the fuck that was. But I mean, they're not really they're not really a popular popular band. No, you but know? they are. I'm pretty sure they're one of the last or very few hair metal bands that are sort of relevant. I mean, yeah, def maybe. they definitely draw attention. Like, seriously. Is it good or bad, or is it, like, a mixture of both? I'm pretty sure they just they just don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're they gonna rock and roll as much as they want, and if you want to join, then you join. If not, then, you know, fuck you. Just like that Twitter guy. Trapped. <laughs> <laughs> I think these guys are a little better than Trapped. <laughs> uh, trapped. Trapped is coming home. He's going to your house and sodomizing you. So they have in a front of your family. So they have a song, and this is really what makes me uh, prefer them over Trapped. Is that death to all but metal? No. <laughs> death to all. Death to all but metal. <laughs> well, you can't really you can't really say death to rock and roll because rock and roll inspired heavy metal. Oh yeah, yeah, and that's from the the their album Feel the Steel, and then yeah, they, yeah. Their, their newest album is Heavy Metal Rules. But you gotta love you know the other album called Balls Out, which has I I, I, I like that album. Yeah, I never listened to it. I think I probably I, to, I did it when I work out. So or. No, work out. Let me correct myself. Train. That was a cookie cutter move I did. <laughs> I mean, you can't go wrong with uh, fucking songs on Balls Out, like don't like Gold Digging Whore. Oh my gosh! It won't suck. Uh, its, it won't suck itself. Uh, just like Tiger. You gotta love the names. Hold on, just like Tiger Woods. <laughs> Weenie ride. <laughs> oh, God. that's what girls sounds like are... a fifteen. Sounds like a fifteen-year-old did them. <laughs> that's what girls are for. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that would not pass for today. I'm sorry. This was 2011. <laughs> uh, 
not even it won't even pass today even if it's 2011 it's not gonna pass that's nine years ago <laughs> today is today uh, all right let me go let me let me go to the newer album see what their songs are Let's see what their song... oh i gotta listen to that other album let's see heavy metal rules that's their newest album where's the songs all I want to do is fuck myself. That's, that's self-explanatory. That that's, that that is getting a comment from the Titan himself, right? So mm -hmm. that's self-explanatory. <laughs> Let's get high tonight. Always got to be a hoe. I'm not your bitch. Fuck everybody. Yeah, this is great. Are you sure this is not written by Gary? I'm pretty sure you and Gary got together and made a heavy metal band. Yeah. <laughs> We're called Long Stroke. I didn't hear that. You cut out, thank God. We're called Long Stroke. Long Come see us. <laughs> yeah, Long Stroke. <laughs> Gary's the lead vocalist, and I'm the lead guitarist. James, you're the drums, and <clears throat> Topher is the drunk guy in the corner. No, Tover will be playing a keyboard that's not plugged in. Yeah. <laughs> While awkwardly staring at people. <laughs> well, imitating the blind man. Making eye contact, you know, very rudely and abruptly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, like, not, not even like for like different people at a time, just for one person the entire show. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Topher's maybe not even the, like keyboard. Maybe the ones that they're like the guitar keyboard, so he can. I was pop. gonna say he's. I was gonna say he int intimidate like a blind man. You know, just stared up to the ceiling playing the keyboard. All right, now you're just making fun of uh. Oh, what's his name? Uh, that's... Ray Charles. Yeah, Ray Charles. <laughs> you just mixed Topher <laughs> and Ray Charles. You bastard. Uh, it's funny, so... <laughs> You're mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. This is definitely an explicit episode. I can't help it. <laughs> is everyone going to look back on this like, wow, what an asshole. Yeah, this let's... Boycott him. All they have to do is listen to me say that paragraph one more time and they'll just like, yeah, never mind, I forgive him. <laughs> <laughs> I can't English very well, people. I probably can't do well. We have well. issues. We have mental issues. It's not our fault. I mean, we're not clinically diagnosed, but I'm pretty sure that I'm sensitive. <laughs> well, we all... Yeah, you're gonna go in that territory? You're gonna make fun of the sensitive person? Alright, you're just like trapped. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> the Titan does what he wants, bitch. Alright. I'm pretty sure Steel Panther will whoop your ass. Steel Panther can suck my ass. <laughs> pretty sure they would. Well, and there's he... money on. Probably because they ran out of money. <laughs> I do something for a quarter. Look, they have a uh, a single out called Hole Patrol. Like, seriously? Uh, <laughs> do they have to turn tricks just to sell it? No. <laughs> I, I probably doubt that, but okay. I have no idea. It's a... Oh, it's the debut EP for Steel Panther. <laughs> the de you just said it's new, but it's debut... Album. It's their date. It's a single, not even. Is it? Oh. Uh, Jesus, even know. God, James. <laughs> oh, that's an, yeah, it's their debut. Yeah. <laughs> we did not do research, ladies and gentlemen. We are sorry. No, nah, this is all Google search right here, man. We don't do. We're not prepared. We expect us to be prepared for anything. I was prepared for some of the articles, <clears throat> and even that, I didn't scroll down. I just looked at titles. <laughs> we're, un we're unprepared and so is the CDC
I went, maybe. <laughs> I went there. Yeah, you went I there. I went. You went there. You went there. Yeah, you rude. Rude. <laughs> Here we go. Rudeness is, I'm truthful. Totally have, too different. <laughs> we have a rude brute and an illiterate recorder. Here we go. Oh, God. At least you're a brute. You can just smash people's heads. I'll just stare at them and say, hey, don't hurt me English. <laughs> uh, Jesus, God. I gotta shut the like fuck up. Like that Cartman episode where we try to get in the Special Olympics. Oh, God. And, they, and then Kyle said, God damn you. <laughs> God. <laughs> Fucking South Park. <laughs> they really just... If it wasn't for them, <laughs> I swear to God, oh, our our generation would be fucking flowers if it wasn't for South Park and Family Guy and shit like that. Just taking the <laughs> political correctness line and running with it, saying, hey man, kiss my ass. Absolutely. <laughs> uh. Like seriously, the South Park movie was... Uh, Long, hard, and uncut, so. <laughs> well, it's self-explanatory, of course. Exactly. Uh, Cal's mom is like Richard Nixon. Oh, God. Well, that's a uh, weird way. But, uh, we're all out of time for now. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna, we're just gonna go in the deep end on this, so I have to, I gotta cut it short. <laughs> And remember, ladies and gentlemen, like, click, subscribe, and enjoy the show. Try not to get sodomized by your creepy uncle. Uh, Gary will do that for you. (laughs) Gary's right behind you. Uh, I can't know. Gary's too too busy playing League of Legends. What are you talking about? You know he's an interdimensional being, right? He can play League of Legends and sodomize you at the same time. Uh, I thought he watches pornography. He does that at the same time as well. He's like Rick. So he has has no (laughs) pants on, drinking a Mountain Dew with ketchup on his white t-shirt. Not sure about Mountain Dew, but definitely, um, no meds. Some sugary shit drink. (laughs) I don't know. No meds. What are you talking about? (laughs) They try to force him, and then next thing you know... Gary said, fuck you. Exactly. <laughs> state. Raw. It's Gary. Gary's raw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gary's gonna come Gary's gonna come on the podcast episode. He's gonna be like, God damn those guys. Yeah, probably. Who knows? Anyway. Oh well. Thank you everyone who might have listened to this if you've gotten to this point at all. You might have just ended it when that guy cut lit his hair on fire or got a call on fire. Who knows? <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, we, we had to end it by sodomy, pornography, League mm-hmm. of Legends, yep. mm-hmm. and other, sh- other shit. Yeah, all that within like two minutes, too. <laughs> 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 Wasn't even, no, we, uh, like three minutes ago we were talking about fucking South Park, so. <laughs> oh, God. It really went off the deep end, you know, it just kept going from corner to corner to corner. But anyway, time is up and... As much as I'd like to keep the fucking recording going, I don't want to edit that much. And um, even though I don't have anything else better to do with my life, I don't want to do this forever. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Thank you all for, for listening. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, share to anyone who else you uh, either enjoy music or want to make feel uncomfortable as we are. Please send it over. And... Uh, See you next time.